Well, the busiest days of the entire year to travel are over the next week, and Sacramento International will be bustling with thousands. KCR3's Aaron Heft has been at the airport all morning and has everything you need to know to brace for those crowds. So where are you headed? Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Christina Kunkel is one of the thousands, hoping she got to the airport in time. You know, I thought I got here early enough, but I don't, I hope I did. <laughs> Sacramento International between now and the beginning of the year is expecting roughly 16,000 travelers each day headed around the globe. Where are you guys headed to? We're going to Puerto Vallarta. Jessica Vega says this year she feels safer to head to Mexico to visit family. We're uh, trying to be safe and we, you know, we, we wear a mask at all times. This surge of people nearing pre-pandemic crowds and it's causing some stress. Long lines at ticket counters and at security has airlines asking people to be at the airport two and a half hours ahead of your flight. And that's for domestic flights. For international, you need Need to get here three hours early. This a massive change from this time last year. In fact, according to TSA, each day over December this year has had one million more travelers through their checkpoints compared to 2020. I wouldn't fly a year ago. I did all driving. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not want to fly? I don't like people. Things that haven't changed, masks, social distancing, and staying home if you're sick. The CDC recommends staying out of crowds, having a well-fitting mask on at all times, and also they recommend if you're not fully vaccinated, not traveling at all. At Sacramento International Airport, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Well, SAC International says it might be a good idea to check how full the parking lot is before you head to the airport. They have 18,000 parking spots, but a lot of it's full. You can easily check in real time for open spots on the airport website.